Hey, Mired Heathens. So it's 3.15 in the morning and I couldn't sleep, so I got up before I have to go to work so I can do the uh, audio for this picture. Now, I don't know how many more Velmas I'm going to be drawn because <laughs> yeah, I delete all these messages. But I get so much hate for drawing a sexy Velma, and so then I get pissed and I draw an even sexier Velma. Because uh, I don't like censorship. So that's kind of where I was going with this. But it seems like I'm just feeding the trolls. So I don't know if I'm going to keep throwing out the troll food. I think I have like maybe two or three more Velmas uh, pinups in the can, and uh, after I post those, I might quit doing them. And we'll see. So I work at the giant airplane factory. I guess we'll start my rant, right? I work at the giant air airplane factory, and. Uh, It pays really good, but I am sick of working there. Before I got that job, I was an industrial designer. So I'm thinking I might go back and do more industrial design. The only problem with that is that it kind of uh, it kills my creativity when I have to do ads and catalog photo shoots and things like that. Uh, trying to sell products. And all the dis dishonesty that goes along with doing that. Um, one thing I did learn from uh, from being a designer and uh, working for a big company like that is don't ever believe any of the copy you guys read when you uh, when you're reading catalogs or boxes. So I'll just go from my own personal experience. I would sit in a room with another designer and the vice president of the big dive company and uh, pretty much just make up the shit they would put on the boxes. You know. <laughs> about how great this product was. Uh, never lied. Never said, like, you know, oh, it'll, it's made of gold and will, you know, make your hair grow in better and give you a sex drive and you can dive deeper and fight off sharks if you use our fins or our dive masks or whatever. But in all honesty, it was just a bunch of people that don't have any expertise in the area other than we want to sell the product. And uh, that's just crazy. The other one that's a killer is now that I know what it costs to make things like boots and tennis shoes and wetsuits and gloves and clothes and things like that, it makes me want to just puke blood when I see what they sell them for. So, we'll break it down like a popular tennis shoe. Worst case scenario, let's say it sells for $100. Right? $100. Bucks. About 70% of that profit... 75% of that is profit. You know, so if it costs 100 bucks at the store, it costs about $25 to purchase from an overseas factory and bring into the United States. And uh, then they make it in the factory. The factory will sell it to the, uh, the company, the shoe company, for like... Uh, so they sell it to them for 25 bucks. So it costs them like 15 or $10 in materials and labor make it or even less than that maybe like five dollars in materials and labor to make so they're making you know ten bucks a pair 
and you know, with our overhead and everything. So it just it's uh, your hundred dollar pair of shoes costs like a tenth to actually have some sweatshop in Asia make it, and they are sweatshops. In fact, uh, they're having a hard. When I left that industry, they were having a hard time keeping workers in these sweatshops in southern China because uh, it's it's horrible work. And they were moving a lot of factories into northern China where it's more uh, farming and agricultural so they could uh, get workers. So, I don't know, man. I just talked myself out of becoming an industrial designer again. Oh well. Well anyways, you know, here's some more troll bait for the guys who hate sexy Velmas. And uh, I think I should kill myself because I dared to draw a cartoon character. <laughs> Being all saucy. And uh, maybe my next rambling will make more sense because it won't be so early in the morning. So, alrighty my heathens, I'll talk to you later. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Oh, uh, and I'm demonetized because I only have 200 subscribers, so. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I need to get up to 1,000 subscribers so I can start monetizing my channel again. So I'd appreciate that. Alrighty, my heathens. Be good to each other. I'll talk to you later. Peace. J4D3 out.